What a start to the series. What are we expecting from this one, Fog? OG and Liquid coming into this game too. OG, they've been knocked back before at the beginning of a series, and we've For seen sure. what sort of a turnaround they can make as the series does unfold. Of course, the famous one being that of this same place, same time last year. Can they do it in this best of five? Are we going to see them with this draft take a game back off Liquid, or are Liquid going to keep the lead? They've got a lot of comfortable things coming out for the side of OG, right? We have Ana on a le his legendary Ember Spirit. We have Thompson on his master tier Monkey King, of course. Master tier. In a good matchup. At, well, what the players used to say was a good matchup. I know a lot of them talked about that Monkey King versus TA back when you could get the refraction tonight with your denies. Now you have to imagine it's even better for the Monkey King. So Thompson should be able to have a good time there versus Weeha in the mid lane. This last pick, Enigma, though, very interesting one. I loved what they mentioned on the, on the panel there. I think Kai was the one who said it out. Heavenly Grace makes it really hard for you to set up for kills, but Black Hole cannot be misproduced because that status just does not work. And there's no cancels, of course, on the side of OG through that BKB that will be coming up for the Enigma eventually in this game. As Miracle eats quite a bit of harassment, you see there. You've certainly got to watch out for, for what GH is going to be able to bring to the game. But overall, Liquid, once again, now having this TA, having sort of a uh, obviously, this time the Weeha TA. We're going to see it in a bit of a different capacity, but they, they've got still this sort of similar idea, right? This whole fight that can go down with the control that Mind Control and GH can offer that will just give the time and space for Miracle and Weeha to just disassemble their opponents. Yeah. It's all about the team fights really coming into play when you start getting toward these later stage games of TI. And we see right away. So a lot of the times we've been seeing the Enigmas, they start in the Radiant jungle. This time he's Radiant, so it's a lot more natural for him. So we see Jerex, he puts a ward inside of the jungle to block one of those camps in that triangle area down in the Radiant jungle. But it actually was spotted. Liquid had already prepared <laughs> down here with this <laughs> ops ward to see everything that's going to be happening. They actually know that that camp is warded. So GH is probably going to stay playing up top for the time being. And just keep denying creep says. Talk about uh, Tom. Tom. They've got the shackle set up. Mind control. Chasing no tail down. Will be able to get back underneath the tower. In fact, Anna's gonna turn. Chase down mind control. And they'll get first blood OG. As Liquid try and force the issue a little too hard between the two of them up top. Give first blood to the safe lane Ember Spirit. And it is south. That was the thing, right? Grimstroke turns, no tail, he doesn't die. He sounds up, he's back up to full. And this is the one thing about when you go for the gush on the tide is you're going trying to set up for those kills, but you're a lot more vulnerable. He has a stout shield, but Embersburg can hit, can hit pretty hard. Same thing with the Grimstroke, they can easily turn. Down to the spot on lane, Miracle. It's going to be farming up against the Seb Omni Knight with that backup of Jerex at his side. Obviously with GH being in the jungle up the top, it is going to be Miracle entirely on his own for the most part. He'll get pressured a bit down here, just from those tossback plays. He should be able to catch up decently, but the thing is that Omni does pack a bunch, pack a decent punch as well onto that left sealer himself. Jarex is just going to keep being annoying too. This is multiple mangoes. Another right click, another tossback, quick heal probably. Actually held on to it this time. We'll see what itemization that Seb does. I think an Orb of Venom proves to have an incredible amount of value, actually, in the bottom lane, because then you can leave the Omni Knight a bit, and then you can actually right-click and trade with the Life Stealer. So I definitely want to see Seb go for picking that one up, because I think he he actually did just buy it, so he will be able to put the pressure onto Life Stealer, just give him that extra right-click, because your Rage is not really an element that you have to worry about when you're going to be pressuring. I want to see Kuro down here now to just offer some sort of way of alleviating the pressure of these two heroes, keep the distraction high so that Jerex isn't able to, to stay in the lane, beating down and, and tossing back Miracle safe lane life stealing. Yep. So we see mid starting to get to that advantage for the Monkey King, constantly getting those Jingu stacks up again onto Weeha, and then you can just secure yourself all these denies. It's a, it's a tough lane for Weeha. Yep. But he'll back up in jungle, as the panel mentioned, as you've seen, especially in the other, earlier series of the day. He's always going to be able to catch up. Yep. Still jungles incredibly efficiently. Yeah, we've seen him do it many times. You know, his his TA really that he's been able to bring out a lot of the times for, for Liquid, as it seems on the main stage, has always been pretty darn good. Seb getting turned on there by Miracle. But we'll have to sustain. And now the Orb of Venom is delivered, and this is where he can start to actually push Miracle off of the lane with Jarex. Jarex again. Still for the combo. Another combo. Doesn't actually choose for the toss back there. Miracle was, yeah, out of regen and, and open wounds have been used, but could have potentially have been a kill. Top lane, Anna. He's actually going to turn, sort of baiting mind control. Look how low he's standing. He's got a slide of fist, oh. keeping himself out of range of the anchor smash. Anna 
just dancing himself perfectly around the tide. The flame guard will end, so it won't be quite enough to take Mind Control down immediately, but you've got to imagine there's going to be another slight fist available. Mind Control just south up in the trees. Another stroke hits, but that south will make sure that the slight fist from Anna won't quite kill him off. Still, though, he's out of regen now, Mind Control, so will be ballooned out of the top lane. Thompson's really starting to take advantage of this mid lane. He even uses the glyph under the tower, and Weeha's just forced to sit and meld. Healing up with the south. Thompson's really taking over. He loves this matchup. Another thing that this hero provides you is you can dive and chase the TA, but now yeah. GH shows up. GH from the trees. Thompson, he didn't expect this. He's trying to use the mischief to play it out. He's looking for that fourth. He cannot get the boundless strike off, though. Great move from GH. That was Catches clutch. Thompson off guard. He knows the Thompson, as you say, is going to play like this. He's looking for these dives, these plays around the tier one towers. GH is prepared. Super clutch. We has. Definitely get better give him like a big hug or something after that play. <laughs> as he'll be able to go back and continue to jungle as he gets an arcane rune on GH and he's actually saving gold. You see he's queued up, he's got the gloves. He's got the dominator in his quick buy, but I you, think he you might think be he's, contemplating a minus. He's he's thinking about it. I won't be surprised we're at four and a half minutes in and being that close to it. Yeah, especially after getting setting up for that kill. We will see Thompson go right back to the mid lane though, and we'll be able to continue pressuring Weha quite easily as that monkey king with the matchup. And does certainly have to, to be aware of the potential of GH maybe coming across again. Obviously, with that ward that OG do have down that they placed earlier in the jungle, they'll see any movements from that kind of angle. GH is going to start to have a bit of a poke on the Jarex through trying to go for the shackles, but with the avalanche already out, Jarex will not be held down. Looks like it won't be the Midas. He buys boots, buys clarities. He's just going to jungle. And looks like he wants to actually move around and make plays because he's got the points of the Malefice already. Maybe he wants to just be more active around the map and be able to respond to the aggression that yep. he knows that OG's going to do, right? You know how OG's going to play. You know Topson is going to do well in the laning phase, and then he's just going to run around and try to set up kills all over the place. So being able to respond quickly, that looks like it's going to be the approach for GH. And he's got relatively good cause to do it around, right? Yes. Other cause that offering Weeha's case a good bit of damage. And to down bottom miracles case that extra bit of slow and disable mid lane thompson we get the balance up we are trying to commit there's the wraparound jerex comes in with the gang tosses back we are as he tries to go in for that kill attempt will not get away with it og able to easily turn it around with the three at the mid see the way for the six minute runes OG, again, you see how much they've prioritized those power runes early on. Jax is going to be the one that's able to grab a haste rune. Level three, so has got the levels to try and make a bit of a play onto Kuro. Diving him underneath the tower, Kuro. He'll stand with the shackles. Another blast, but Jax just has the combo damage, bringing him down. Snick charges for Kuro, though. Actually keep him alive, and now the haste rune is worn out. And Miracles, he's in for the free kill. He did not do the math. Kuroki did, though. Nice under, though, top. Both carries getting a bit of action. Top lane, Anna and Notel. Able to set up for another kill for that Radiant safe lane. Ember getting in behind the tier one towers. Well, there's three Radiant points in the slide of fist. Now with the six, the remnants are as well. He hurts. Yep. It's a dangerous lane for mind control to return to. And they really love playing this Grimstroke combo with these melee heroes that can quickly get on top of targets with that high level each swap. We will, we will probably still see an early level Phantoms embrace. I think that's another reason why they picked it versus the Tide. Heading in GH. So annoying, but Anna should be okay. He's got the remnants like you were talking about. Yeah, GH not quite with the mana at all to offer a black hole follow up. It's Jarex. Keep tabs with Weeha, don't let him just really jungle. As I, I feel like every time we've seen Weeha actually playing in the eyes of this Templar Assassin, he gets away with he gets away with murder in the jungle. He just sits there farming it over and over again, and doesn't get pressured. OG is not gonna give him that option. Three cores of OG are farming very well. As to be expected, you're playing versus an Enigma draft. That's kind of, if you're not doing well in the early game, you're not doing well in the laning phase, you're in a big amount of trouble. So they are quite ahead there. And Mind Control is starting to get punished quite a lot up top, as we saw from Ana, as well as Grimstroke of No Tail. I love the scan from, from Liquid that does reveal that No Tail's hunting behind the tier one. Heading over towards the direction of GH. Just going to look to get another ancient stat going. And quite Illusion. managed to make it happen there. Oh, no tail blocked it, I'm yeah. pretty sure. Yeah, he's sitting, sitting on just the edge of the square, no tap. Yep. As top though, Ana, he's just looking to keep pressuring onto my control here, but my control will be able to step away. No tail. Does want to try and go for this with my control being as low as he is. Cannot close the gap with the ink square. Oh, that's a beautiful black hole. GH just casually stands in position. He didn't even have to move for it.
as they just both sat down. Anna's trying his best to get away with the Bremen now. He will be able to escape. As that, that nearly was a huge disaster for OG losing two. They're lucky that Anna was able to get out of there. They're lucky that Jerex was close enough to get an avalanche yeah. there, otherwise he's very likely he, to die. He would have been dead. He really would have, but as it is, Anna lives. Only no tell. And when he comes back, he can full heal Jerex as well. So they can look to make an aggressive play up here. I mean, yeah, they're very immediately important. back over. Now they know they can be extra aggressive, right? There's no black hole. Yeah. Very important that Anna survives there. But it's great, I mean, GH so far in this game. As an Enigma who's jungling, able his, to put so much pressure on the map. His positioning has is, is always been where, where, where he would ideally be. Yeah. Where his team needs him to, to be standing, GH is there to ready to hold the hands. He's got that Dominator build finished. So we will have that creep always running around, probably just stacking camps for the early game and then gonna start looking to set up kills. Because it is a Centaur Conqueror, so it is one of the better ones to actually set up for those ganks. As mid, they really want to sandwich on Kuroki. Straight in, Kuroki is going to have to charge the turn upon the shackles. They're doing their best to keep Anna alive. Big swell buffs up, and there's the start. Connecting on a GH, they're ready to die for more. Thompson straight down behind the tower, jumping forward. Look for GH, the stuff of the Central Conqueror with the helmet of the Dominator. He's keeping GH, finally the full wing as Thompson gets him. We have now time towards OG. They managed to take away two. They'll continue to chase him. We'll lose no time, but Thompson's back over. Battle is strike down. They'll surround the TA. We are surely will fall. No, they don't have detection. He's got the mail. He'll stay hidden. A go for Kuro instead. Miracle. Just trying to chase for more. Another stun indeed from the Sensor Conqueror. The Micro making it real, but Miracle still has to be careful. The Rage has finished and Anna's Flame Guard still persists as they'll chase into the trees. Thompson's got the lockdown. Battle strikes out. Miracle will fall. OG. The three core is just running around as a unit right now for OG. <laughs> Looking to kill everybody on Liquid. Look at the map right now. I mean, they're thinking about going Look for at more. The, the lanes are all open. Oh, they're just battling. He's able to chop the tree down. Mind control. Quick with the Lumberjack plays. Can the stream if he can try to turn? Ravage does get the three of them. Sets getting burst slower. Heals out in time. We are comes across. Hex lockdowns there for Kuro. They'll get Thompson. They quit. Can they punish OG even more for diving for this? The X12 slide of fist again. Mind control. He stuns up the flame guard. The slide of fist damage is too much for them this early on. Kuro goes off the wall. He's got the shackles. He's holding him down. Hex is out as well. Kuro <laughs> finishes off Anna all by his own. And we are get set as well. OG, all five out of the game as Liquid say, get out of our half of the map. <laughs> 10 minutes in, and we have 10 heroes duking it out over the it. ancient area. That's what we want to see. There's farm in every lane. Bounty runes are spawning. I think every single game that we see, it's like, guys, bounty runes. Every team starts running over to bounty runes at those five minutes. Not this game. These teams are just bringing the battle to each other. And I think that you know, this is why these teams were so excited to face each other in oh, the grand absolutely. finals. You know that Kuro and Notel, they wouldn't have it any other way than to meet face to face in the best of five grand finals. I feel like we hear the teams talk about this a lot when they get to the later stage. They're like, I, I want to play versus this team. And they're like, why do you want to play versus this team? And it's like, because they like to just fight and we like to fight and that's what makes Dota I mean, OG's already eyeing up the chance to get back over. It's constant. GH. They're diving. Change to there. Seven notes over the back of GH. He is going to struggle to hold them off. We'll get a midnight pulse down with the purification burst from Sebs. Is enough to bring him low enough. No tail getting the finishing blow. As OG, as soon as Liquid kill them all, we'll get them back over to the base. They are straight back over, keeping the pressure on. We'll see here, fantastic turnaround from Liquid Double with damage. that Ravage. And then, of course, that beautiful Double ending. Box. Kuro able to get that kill on Anna, all on his own. And all little things too, right? That fruit, even the Dark Troll Summoner that GH controls and he gets the net onto the Omni Knight, he can't actually get into Heavenly Grace and protect targets. So no, I mean, GH, every little thing matters. This this helmet dominates. I don't think I've seen anyone use it as well as GH has been able to in these first 12 minutes. Yeah. The Micro has been absolutely on point. And we're 9 to 9, less than a 1k difference. At, just under 13 minutes in between OG and Liquid in this game too. You can feel the you can feel the way that OG's playing is that they want to punish the greed. Liquid went for greed. They've got Midas on the life stealer. They have an addict when they're trapped. OG wants to just keep this battle running at them. Which is very OG-like. They just want to fight. 
It's just an ambition with the rest of this water. Thompson oh set up perfect from the trees. Wukong's command down. Boundless strike already used. It doesn't matter. He's able to jump forward. Look to chase Miracle. Miracle does get the jukes off. Now it's the movement speed with a phase boost. He'll get himself out across the trees. He'll still try and chase. Thompson, Boundless still unavailable for six seconds. So Miracle will actually be able to escape. GH, he comes forward. He starts to have a bit of a pop. Stuns out for Ada. He's in with a wraparound. Chains around. Boundless strike back up. Slam down onto the Enigma. GH is gone. They're diving up towards tier three. OG, they're in the base. They get mind control as well. Sit still. Every single tower up in the mid lane. But OG, they're taking the fight to the base. Dude, look at this. Look at this. All the lanes are open. All they want to do is battle. We as well going to get caught out. This is ridiculous. <laughs> And now they're gonna say, okay, now they're priority. They're like, All right, now we've sandwiched up to a tower. Now we can go for this one. Oh, yeah, does, hey, does, does anyone else want to take a tower? Yeah, I'll go, I'll go on then, Seb. Yeah, let's go on then. We'll take some of these, these objectives. We can hold back on the killing for a little bit. 13 to 9. OG able to break a little bit ahead there with that play. I don't think I've ever seen a, something like this in a game, though. Where and it's, in it's a grand just, finals of TR. Exactly. They're literally just ignoring lanes. Lanes are open for heroes to farm. But who cares about farm? Look at this. The three cores of OG, they see life still on the map. All three of them immediately run to bottom. They're like, get him. That shows. He has to hide. They want to collapse. Rage and a TP will do it. Nowhere to hold him down. Miracle's out of the neighborhood. And they'll set up for this tower now. That's how, well, I guess there's no kills to be had around here. We've got to take the tower. So yeah, Anna, Anna will reluctantly take it. But they're going to battle top. They see mind control for a second. All right, like, here oh, we go. A kill has been spotted. Let's have a look. Ravage is available as well as the black hole as GH gets over. Toss back underneath the tower. Mind control starts with the anchor smash. Thompson, he's already got the Dingu built up. Avalanche control and mind control causing issues. He needs the rest of his team to get it. They're not going to come. Mind control's going to be left for dead. Oh my god, just relentless. Just relentless running at them. They're really trying to punish the greed. I think that's the biggest thing to point out here is that OG, they do not want to give any type of low period. When you look at Liquid Trap, it's a slow paced draft that's based off of cooldowns. They don't want Weeha to get be able to get away with murder like we were talking about earlier about going to the jungle and just farming. No mercy. As another tower, they'll find this one here because they're in this lane looking for kills. So another tier one, but it gets denied. Good play there for Nota. Gets the silence out before a rage is available. Stopping Miracle from being able to commit through the stun. Phantoms and Brace could catch a lot of things off guard here on the Liquid Draft. Like we mentioned, versus the Tidehunter especially too. That Kraken Shell can be very annoying to play against if you're versus Phantoms and Brace. Just constantly applying that silence on yourself. I need, I need that Dessa done on Wii Heart. Yeah. Then, the, then you know, it becomes a little scarier to keep this aggression up. But until that point, OG, they're going to move forward. But GH from the tree line, Black goes down as well as the Serpent Woods. Serp will be able to offer up the GA, but Mind Control's Ravage caps the two of them. They've got the lockdown. Shackles are out. Tops are surrounded. He'll turn with the Boundless Strike, but the four of them will kill him off. And it's going to jump in. They want to try and make sure they can find the trades. Who can they get? Inkswell's done. Connects with the Mind Control. They're on top of them, burning him down with the Flame Guard. But Liquid, they're holding themselves close to the wards. Saying, you can come. You can come, OG. But OG, they won't fall for that trap. They won't force the fight any further. They've lost Topson. That was three ulties for Topson, though. That's Black Hole. I mean, it, it is Topson. Serpent he's, Wards. He's quite a high value play. You That's know? very true. But the location where they get it right, you can tell Stop. that OG, they're the ones dictating the pace, forcing reaction after reaction after reaction by Liquid. Force them to use literally triple ultimates to kill their mid laner because they have that Omni behind him. Now we're doing Desso for Weeha, 100 gold away. He's getting the space. His team is trying to fight back, giving Weeha some time to get that item that he really needs in this game. For Miracle, needs that armlet done after yeah. the Midas. Then, then you have two cores that you really have to be careful about diving upon as OG. My control, he's been spotted. Thompson they want him. Found him alone. As again, Thompson and Jerax able to find these quick and easy pickoffs. Kuro is going for the TP out. Anna has not got any disable backup to hold him out. So Kuro will escape. But Thompson, as soon as he's taken out of the game on the top lane, he is straight back in and he's killing people already. Yep. It's not time. They even smoke. Look at this. He kills bottom. The line is drawn. They just want to go, go, go. This is a beautiful pace that OG's bringing out here in game two. They have the 3k lead. They'll know that they're around. Take out the Ops Ward as well. Topson will kill it. But there aren't those big ops, as you mentioned, straight in towards the tier two tower. Ada has no fear as he collapses immediately on top of the TA. We hard surrounded. The control that No Tail offers is too oh much God. for We Hard to withstand at the moment. Jump forward over towards Kuro. Anna just loving the pace that he can play with Topson by his side, running down hero after hero as OG just keep the kills a coming.
They're just, yeah, they're just moving too fast. The, the pace that they're setting is just too quick for Liquid to respond right now. My control is being... Look at my controls that way. I don't think I've seen that almost ever. He is bottom three net worth and Bottom tied. three, bottom of the sea. One, six, tied. six. He's got to try and get himself up to some shallower waters. As he... He's got a big recovery to do. Sure, we've seen he can still make very impactful plays with the Ravage alone at the moment. That's too fast of a pace though still. OG, if they have anyone, if they have their cores together, which they've pretty much been doing all the time, it's so hard to bring them down. We see how hard Heavenly Grace counters all of these disables that do come out. A miracle. Who'll be able to get away with this play every time? Rage CP, nothing to stop it. Liquid's trying to find any type of place to farm in very unexpected places. Look at where my control is right now, and look at where GH is. Oh. This is them just being like, OG seems to just know where we are on our, our side. Let's take the farm well, from their side. That's the thing, right? They know that OG is It's just looking for fights. Look at it. Yep. They're, they're fighting up towards tier 3s. This is literally where OG doesn't want to be. They don't want to be on their half of the map. That's, nope. that's defensive, slow, and boring. So that does give this space. And Liquid starting to make a bit of use of it. OG into the pit, is spotted out by the Weeha trap. Yep. Can they do anything with it? They've got Black Hole and they've got the Rav. Yep, they've got their ulties available. OG, they have their Guardian Angels one, but Seb is relatively low on mana. They stop the rush and they're like, oh, heroes have been spotted. Go for the fight, Miracle is in the mid lane. They're gonna go for jump on Miracle. Instant Rage and a back off. Still, they managed to sandwich them. If Liquid can get the Tide and the Enigma in, they could go for a good fight from the low ground. Kuro Miracle. disabled. He traps up No-Tail in the circle wars. Miracle's the focus, Miracle will fall. They're walking over my control. Tries to get around the but he can't bow the strikes out. And no Tide is embraced again. No-Tail stopping around my control for being able to offer the ravage for now. And Anna and Thompson, they're still good to go. Dust is out. They've got the detection prepared. Weehaar's left behind. They take a both course. They're going to get the third as well by the looks of his OG. Oh they jump over, catch out mind control, and they'll also toss back at GH's OG. They just keep killing oh every God. single member of Liquid over and over again. They're playing the fights perfectly. The execution of these fights it's, is absurd right It doesn't now. get any better than this from OG. It's 31 kills at the 21 minute mark. They're just, uh, sorry, at the 20, 20 minute mark, they're running around, bounty rune spawn. They just kind of fake that roach a little bit. They know, they're like, oh, there's a TA trap in here. They have to know that they're versing a TA and they have to know there's traps in there. And, you, and, and then they just bring the fight. As soon as Liquid shows them yeah. ever, they don't care. They get the boundless strike when it looks like my control's trying to get a perfect ravage and then he gets silenced and from but there, it's it, it, it so hard. He knows exactly. A bug on mind control, Bam. Yep. They cannot do anything. You saw GH moving as well. If my control gets that Ravage off, GH is able to get it with a black hole. Maybe they limit the casualties. Maybe they, they're able to at least bring someone down with them from OG, but it's not the case. OG using every spell in the right order and on the right target. Yep, and they're itemizing really well now too. We see Seb, he went for the Medallion early on into a Vlad's. And what are we looking at on the side of Liquid? It's pretty much, I mean, they have, magic, they have magical damage too, but the Templar Assassin is really the one that's gonna be dealing all that damage on their lineup, and he's He's gonna have a much harder time versus the Solar and Vlad's on being thrown on the target that he's focusing. And again, the, sort of the, the chaos of these fights, you know, sure, it's, it's sort of been a group effort, but look how well they're able to prioritize their main man, Anna. He's only died the once in all of these engagements. He's 7, 1, and 11. So despite the fact that sometimes you'll see Thompson fall, they're throwing bodies in, they're getting so much done that Anna is able to benefit off. And it's not like Thompson's not farmed. He's actually ahead of Anna in the farm here. He has a Radiance with the Echo Saber already finished. Excuse me? Versus a TA. This is a Radiance versus TA so early on. This evasion. 21 minutes in. Of, of the Radiance onto that refraction as well. It's going to prove to be super problematic. And even versus Blink Daggers. That's the other thing that we know that Thompson, why he really likes Radiance, is when you throw down your Wukong's command, all of your individual monkeys get the Radiance applied oh, in that yeah. AoE. So getting Blink Daggers and blinking and ravaging and causing chaos is near impossible. You cannot escape it. You no, need you the cannot. BKB and Blinks if you want to try and make a jump. And even then, you're still going to be slowed down in the way that you had to commit with them. Yeah. As Rocha, OG's in the pit, no chance of Liquid heading over. As Anna will claim the Aegis. And with 3k gold towards the next item. Mike control hide. They, they saw him for a second. He's got a TP. Uh -oh. They've obviously got ways to cancel it, OG. I don't think. Oh, he's framed him Mike already. Mike getting out of this one. He shows himself, they get a glimpse of him. And it's just more and more gold and glory for OG. 22 and 10, 22 minutes in. This is the OG you expect to see after they go down a game in game one. They are relentless with the pressure that they're applying. No mercy.
pick a greedy trap for them, you know that this is the way that they're going to play. Just running around looking for non-stop plays, especially when they have Topson on Monkey King it's and perfect. Ana on Ember. These are just incredibly fast-paced. Miracles. Heroes. It's been found again. They get the combo and he's not able to get the rage off. The Phantom Embrace from no Tell, along with that combo, leaves no chance for Miracle, Miracle to get out of there. And now they can start looking for some towers. It's gone to that point again when OG said, all right, we've done enough killing. Let's get some more objectives. Tier 2 tower in the middle lane will be taken. We are doing his best. They keep that top lane pushed out. Has the blink of the Deso, so can try for these plays. Bottom lane, GH and Mike's drop. The iron up Thompson. But he's got Sab. And then, oh, look, Heavenly Grace. 2,500 health Monkey King walking around. No fear in the world at all. As we hunt. I mean, he's already there. He's in position. That's going to allow Thompson to close the gap. And we are. There's now, Radiance. Top, they do not have detection, but he is slowly burning. They've got another toss he's, as well. Oh. This is, oh, oh, oh. Burnt. I'm just burnt to pieces. This is. Burns to smithereens. Is out of control oh. by OG right now. That's a painful way to go. As OG, you, you can feel the magic that they're bringing right now. Look this is what has brought them to this point in the tournament. This is, this is why they are your defending champions. If they turn it up, if they hit this right sort of pattern of plays. And look at this mic control. He wants something. It just anything. Stop. <laughs> OG. <laughs> And making this game to hurt for Liquid. This, this is painful right now. This is just, this is just the beautiful. Look at the damage coming out from the cores. To have that much damage, just to hear them at 24 minutes in, this is ridiculous. Yeah. Just keeping all the aggressive moves, like you said, Liquid. They were trying to even move the Nick one, move the Tidehunter out onto the OG side of the map, but OG's like, no, we're gonna keep all the aggression onto Liquid side. Don't let them get any breathing room in this game. Put down deep aggressive wards, and just keep, keep running at them. Don't let Miracle get this Radiance online. He's almost got it though. That's the one thing. Miracle has his phase, has the Midas, has the armlet, and will soon have that rad. But the rest of his teammates are so far behind. And a TA, when you're playing from behind like this, is incredibly difficult when you're versus these natural oh, yeah. He can't outshow his face in the fights, Weeha. And they, oh, remember, when they open with TA, you're setting yourself up to this. OG, they they like triple down to make sure they have things to do with him. Omni Knight is an incredibly good hero versus TA at all stages of the game. Jarex, he's already prepared bottom, waiting for the next kill to set up. Two, oh. They already got TPs coming. In come the TPs. Jarex, he's in with the setup. They'll still get the blink off. Did have enough charges left for the refraction to get it out, and he's going for the TP away. They will not catch him. So this time, Weeha will get himself away from this terrifying squad from OG that is just moving from lane to lane. You cannot show your face without the expectation of three heroes immediately collapsing on you. Anna. Anna. Got the vision here, as they'll get in with the setup. Kuro tries his luck, tries to get out, doing oh. the warning for the team. Jarrus has also found Mike Control. Anna still diving in towards the base as we are. He got Thompson's tree. We are. Tries to turn with the mail here. Thompson's there with the balance. Try. We are. He's just dying inside the base. The, the, this mobility is. It's just absurd. Ember's Bird and Monkey King, they're everywhere. You cannot I set up anywhere on the map. I, they I, just I, get across the map too quickly. I feel like we're, we're just saying that you cannot let OG have these two cores together. They just play off each other so perfectly. The timings that these heroes hit, they're just on top of you at the same point of the game, and it just doesn't slow down. Yeah. Bit of a timing window here for the... Oh my god, Miracle. Dropping solo. They've got Blink Dagger on the Tidehunter now. But Jarex actually, I believe, countered. Hey, yeah, I think he counseled his TP. Up top, Mike Control can't get back to base. He cannot. He faced around. And now Thompson's cutting off the escape route as well already. There's no tide for the defense. As he's he can make run, it work he, could, for it. he could deal with the creep wave, but he's not going to be able to head back and help out if a fight does kick off in the middle. As they'll find him, they'll chase him. Monster kill for Thompson. It's. Oh my God, it's it's incredible to see how hard OG is punching back after that game one loss. They're they're really just giving no room to Liquid at all. No room in the map. Just constant mobility, constant running around, constant fighting. And Miracle, like we said, he's kind of farmed. They have the BKB on the Enigma as well with that blink on the Tide Hunter. But OG, they have a 15,000 gold lead, a 20,000 experience lead, and they have given what? I think they've only given OG. One or two towers in the last 10 minutes and no kills. There's a full Scotty on Thompson. 
at 20 minutes in. This game, I think it is entirely on GH and Mind Control to make some incredible five-man play. That's yeah. the only way right now. That is really how it feels. It and they have they have the BKB black hole, which is not counterable for Moji at least with the stun. But Oji tanky. Yeah. And getting into them as well, right? If they have the Wukongs down, lay down, he's gonna die if he gets that black hole off. He, he will. And now also, they've got a better way to heal each other and help each other. There's an Agonyms on seven. So that Guardian Angel is gonna provide that massive amount of HP regen as well as that protection from wherever he's gonna be to pop it off. I don't think they're gonna have the damage to do with Oji at all. Miracle trying to push into Thompson, but with the items that Thompson has and the bust that he does, Soul finds out. They're gonna try and jump forward. The Wukong's come on, it's now Mind Control off the Ravage. The GH is already out, they've got the black hole. GH falls though, he's stuck inside the Wukong. Three dead on Liquid. OG just beating them down one by one. The buybacks will come out for both Kuro and Miracle, but both GH and Mind Control are gone without their ultimates and without buybacks. The game continues to worsen for Liquid as OG passed the racks on top of Miracle, tossing him back into the barrel. It's triple kill for Thompson. Wow. As OG, this entire game has been a high reel for them. We are, you get something. It's a lot of money, of course, Anna. So that's a little bit of glory for Liquid. Oh, Jarek, it will go down, maybe. No, the heal, they give the rampage to Thompson. Extra bit of salt in the wounds there. As they're holding on. They're gonna give them I mean, respect though, they're gonna back up. Well, I feel like OG doesn't mind. They're enjoying this, they're loving Radiant this. They don't want this to end. <laughs> they wanna keep playing. They've got such a lead on all three cores that you know right now in the booth, OG are really enjoying themselves right now. Oh, especially Thompson. 16, three and 14, oh. part of 30 of the 35 kills on this Monkey King. That is insane in this type of game on the finals of TI. Oh, he played on Jerax. Everybody's getting their items on OG. Yep. That's some luxury ones, of course. But yep. Just not letting, just not letting Liquid get anything. They have a Templar Assassin who is at 11,000 net worth in 30 minutes. You don't hear that very often. Usually, when you hear a TA at 30 minutes, he's going to be peaking at the 18, 15,000, 17,000 gold marks, maybe even higher than that. OG just not allowing it Liquid to play with this draft at all. They're sandwiching and closing the map off even more. Picking up those more luxury items and agonims now, of course, for Ana too, so he can just be even more mobile. And yeah, there's no black hole for 60. Ravage is up at 30. OG let's walk up to this high ground. And another agonims, of course, too, for Thompson. Liquid can't fight it. They are just far too strong on OG right now. Their only hope is with the black hole and the ravage, and we saw even last time it was exactly as you said it would. If Wukong's command is down, BKB black hole is not going to last long enough. And even if it did, they just do not have the damage right now to kill these heroes. They're too tanky, and like I said, two and seven, right? Seven the back line just here, going to heal everybody with that Guardian Angel. It's already. Trying to pull the wave away they from mid, it. but they're chasing. That's all we are. He and doesn't have BKB. Jerex is over. There's the E-Blade combo coming out. A GA to celebrate as the fight continues down bottom, making sure that No-Tail doesn't go down. The two of them soul bound together. Anna's in with a change. Bradley strikes down on a Miracle. Miracle cannot get out of this one alive. He's dead without buyback. Mind control as well. The chase never ends from OG. You have to imagine, they, they tap out of this one pretty soon as OG, 31,000 gold lead. So many different items picked up. They're cleaning up the last racks. A Dagon even picked I'm up, GH. no tail. He's popped the BKP, he's gonna go for the black hole on the two of them, doesn't the pulse down. In fact, gets Hanna as well with the wrap round, but they just don't take any damage at all. GG is called, the suffering will finally come to an end for Liquid in this game too, as OG take the victory. One to one now in this best of five grand finals. And Liquid, oh, they've got to be feeling pretty shaken up after that game. O